Hello, people. <laughs> Today we are trying Wild Turkey 101 Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. How strong is the Wild Turkey? Let's look so I can find it. Oh, okay. It's 101 proof. This is crafted with conviction. Like how? Like would you, you didn't believe in the crafting? That doesn't make sense to me. But okay, sounds good. I'm, I'm, I believe in my crafting of the <laughs> barrel chart number four, approved by. And Jimmy Russell. <laughs> okay, what is it? Let's read this. For more than 60 years, legendary master distiller Jimmy Russell has been crafting Wild Turkey 101 only the right way. That's why I call it 101, because it's 101 proof. With a high rye content, this iconic bourbon is perfectly aged for up to six to eight years in American oak barrels. <laughs> why do they say that? Don't they make all bourbon on oak barrels that are charred? Like, so why, do you, why do they add stuff that's like obvious? It's, Okay, but maybe for the news. Okay, let me back out. Oak barrels, because bourbon can't be, bourbon can be made some other way, but we don't know how. So I guess that's what we say saying. <laughs> With the deepest char for more character. <laughs> we bottle 101 at a higher proof, and only when it reaches its full complex flavor of caramel, vanilla, toffee, and spice. As Jimmy says, like the Kentucky River, <laughs> wild turkey 101 is mighty. Bold, and it takes its own sweet time. So, I'm gonna try it. You know, wild turkey. I don't know how to turn up. How to talk to turkey sound? How to turkey? Am I making turkey sound? Because I can't make one. So, that ain't no turkey, Dan. That sound like an alien from Dumbland. <laughs> You're good at beatboxing, but you ain't good at sounding like a turkey. <laughs> but I'm not either. I don't know. I got this one off good today. How good I've removed plastic. Turn me the plastic pro. Still gonna stick it in my pocket. <laughs> okay. All right, you like that turkey. <laughs> I don't mess with no turkey. I don't, you like eating turkey? Only, yes. But I may not, because I like it on Christmas and Thanksgiving, that's it. But I don't just like, yeah, I just want some turkey today. Turkey is, yeah, I've never, turkey's like dry to me. Yeah, it's dry. I've, I've had moist turkey, but. Yeah, you gotta have like, uh, what is that, they put on it, gravy or something? Yeah, I understand. So, of course, some of this high-ride content bourbon wild turkey going on one. That's all I want. I know you want some, right? Right, yeah, look at that smooth selling. Tell me when, tell me when. When? Okay. I had this before. Okay, well, I have it. If I have, I don't remember, because I forget everything. Put my finger all on the cork. Put my germs in it. Oh, no. Yeah. Wild turkey. One-on-one. -on -one. Wild turkey. From Kentucky. I used to work with, uh, well, when I was going to go to the studio back in the early 90s, there was this rapper. Wild Turkey? Know, his name was MC Wild Turkey. I don't know if he ever came out with an album, but his name was MC Wild Turkey. Seriously. I'm serious. I know you're serious. And he was a cowboy that could rap. Was he a black man? No. Okay. He was Latino? No. Or Hispanic? No. Asian? No. Native American? No. Amerindian? No. Guatemalan? No. Indigenous uh, Australian? Samoan? <laughs> Man, I'm not doing all these. <laughs> was, was, it back, was it back Carol? You say he was a cowboy. He was a human. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> Hmm. I get caramel cherries. This is what it smells like to me. But it's not an overwhelming like some some things are just so like uh aromatic, the aroma. Like it's not overflowing aroma. Like you gotta really sniff it. You know, I gotta sniff some. One of my boogers might fall in there. I hardly got to sniff. You know, you know then I got to say it tastes like mucus. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I can smell the cherries and the spices. Okay, I can smell it now. Take a little bit. Take a little bit. Take a little bit. How much did the wild turkey 16, want to uh, $16, $17. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, but it, it, I also can feel that, like, some, like, 
the ethanol don't come out, but the ethanol comes out on this one. You yeah, know. I agree with you on that. You know, you smell the, the, the strength of it. Yeah, but it smells decent. It's not, it's not like, it doesn't smell bad at all, but it's not like one of my, oh my God, let me keep smelling, cologne smelling type one. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to sniff it to see if I get that on the nose. See, I ain't stopped yet. Yeah, but I guess that's a little bit of the cherries. If you should open that up. I don't. I want to see if it smells just like it. I'll open it. I took my nose all up in the cherries. <laughs> anyway, weak. I just don't want it to spill because you know it's so juicy. Unless you want to do it on camera. I'm cool. I like it. Right. Oh, I can see this going completely wrong. We're going to not do it at all. Hold on. Oh, I have the power. No, it's cool, he man. This, this, it's all good. Yeah, you, right yeah, here. you gotta, you gotta take the plastic off. There we go. There we go. Just slide it over here. I ain't gonna, we gonna do. I'm gonna be the one to spill it. Okay, I smell this. Okay, let me try to see. Now this is more spicy, but you, there's a similarity there. Yeah, I, I can give it the same now. Yeah. Hey, look at you. you, you you're kind of smart there, buddy. So, let me bring some cherries out and show them that I know what I'm talking about. Oh, go ahead. Big Willie. <laughs> Big Willie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Let's try it. But what I, what I, yeah, but it do smell. Like, the more I let it sit, the more it's smelling better. And then, like, maybe the cherries brought it out. Let's try it for me. All right. Cheers. <laughs> I took you. <laughs> All right, go. It's good. It's good, really good. Sixteen bucks. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, I think we know who our cheap winner might be. <laughs> really. Yeah. So this was one that when times was hard. I'd be drinking this. Yeah. When I couldn't put two pennies together, this was one that I would go to. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. My gosh. I'm impressed. Very good. Ooh. And the finish just hits you right there. It's not it's not overly sweet. I'm not sure if I can pick out the flavors. You know, I kind of suck at getting the flavors, but man, this is good. I like this. This is I don't even like I don't even like stuff like this because it'd be so good. You'd be like, man, I'm cool. Let's just sit and drink this. And the, the warmth hits you like ooh, right there. What? Really? It's hitting like a barrel proof would hit you without being a barrel yeah. proof. That's crazy. This is one I probably had at maybe like seven bottles. I went through seven bottles. And everybody who I gave it to was like, Ooh. this is yes. delicious. It is. $16? Mm-hmm. Mm. Distilled and bottled by Wild Turkey Still and Covered in Lawrence Bird. My middle name is Lawrence. Just so you guys know. Lawrence Bird, Kentucky. <laughs> so you can come in. I had a good friend named Lawrence. Yeah. You got one right now? Yeah, I do. But before I met you, yeah. there's a guy across the street. Named His name was Lawrence. He was effing awesome, wasn't he? He was a cool dude. There you go. And okay. the funny thing is the Risky Business story. So you know the movie, The Risky Business, right? Yeah. He is one who crashed his mom's Porsche mm -hmm. and it got it fixed before she came back. That's pretty awesome. How did he get that money to get it fixed? Oh, he was older than me. Oh, okay. Way older. Yeah, way older. And yeah. uh, he had a job. Yeah, okay. That he makes was like sense. a geek. I think he worked. I think he worked at Egghead Software. Okay. Don't remember that, but okay. Don't try to remind me. Don't. I know it was you. a software. I believe you. It makes sense. Egghead Software. Yeah. Software company. That existed somewhere that I could probably find it on Google. <laughs> I had to stop the story. He really wanted to give me the story. I'm like, no. Nah, nah. nah. There it is. But, okay. I do chase. Off the 405. Give me more. Go ahead. No, okay. Boulevard. Tell me more. I'm interested. I think it's now right by a subway. <laughs> Somewhere in California. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Let me first see what flavor. I, I taste the cinnamon. I taste a little brown spice. They say it's vanilla. That doesn't stand out to me. Um, I don't know. In the finish, I get the vanilla. A little bit of vanilla when you said that. I guess it was going down. It is a complex flavor. It's a caramel, van vanilla, toffee. I, I See, when you say toffee, um, I, I know what toffee tastes like. I don't really taste toffee. I don't, that's kind of hard to put there. Maybe, you know, because I, I, like, I, how come I would think of Snickers and nougat, nougat, and it, like, a little, it tastes like, more like toffee tastes like, like the nougat 
in the in the in the yeah. So I don't taste that, like, you know. So I don't know. Yeah, but it's good though. I think it's extremely. For sixteen dollars, I give this a twelve. This is for sixteen dollars on a scale of one to ten. I give this a strong. I, I, for some reason, I don't want to give it an eight, but I'm going to give it a seven point five. I really should probably slide it up higher, but I. It's my my brainwashing is telling me because I know it's cheap that I gotta give it um, seven point five because it, I don't know, but it's, 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 it slides into the eight range. It's right there. It's that great to me. I love cherry, so I'm gonna give it an eight. So, so you get what I'm going. Yeah. You get, I'm, I'm telling you, my brain wants to not rate it as high because like it's cheap, but it's really that good. Where I said I really want to give it an eight, but it's my programming that's for me, Charles. Sixteen bucks? Nah, dude. But really, for the value, for the taste, this is a twelve. My God, this is like effing incredible. Just what? And you get it at Target. At, man, this is like I'm telling you, this is like totally awesome. Like really, I'm really impressed. Like man, the warmth just hit me. It just tastes so good. Man, some people should be embarrassed that that. Somebody can put a product out this good and so cheap. I've had that. some that was like even the forty dollar range, uh, sixty dollar range. I'm like, man, I know I it's nowhere near as good as this. You just real. paying for the bottle and the pretty colors from the bottle. No, this is good. If y'all see the color, is like, a, it's not really a dark dark, but it's good. This is really good. This is really good. Six to eight years, so not tell exactly how long it is. So, but it's cool. It's really good. It's really good. I like the wild turkey. And you didn't know I, I I can be a wild turkey for you, baby. I can be that wild turkey. So anytime you feel like you need to get that one on one lesson, <laughs> let me be your wild turkey, and then we can uh, sip on something. Speaking of turkey, that, 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 go ahead. I had an amazing turkey one time. No, you didn't. Just thinking about no, it. No, you didn't. Seriously. Seriously. I had a fried. You didn't. Turkey. No, you didn't. Have you had a fried turkey? No, you didn't. Okay, I didn't. I'm joking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These are not the wild turkey. These are, These are this is not wild turkey. No, tell me this. So you had a fried turkey from where? Can't remember. I think somebody did it in their backyard. What was it? Oh, okay. But it was juicy and fried. It was really delicious. Mm. Yeah, this is really good, man. I'm really uh I'm really impressed. So I think that if you can get some wild this should be right now. Your number one go to cheap bourbon whiskey. <laughs> I think this is like every time I take a sip of it, I'm like blown away in the warmth. Oh my gosh, the way it feels right here. Right, yeah, in the throat. This is straight, yeah, it's straight that hotty toddy. Oh my god. And it tastes it tastes so good, neat. Um my brother Whiskey Wars was saying that uh you should uh, try to do different things at different temperatures, but you should try that. Um put it on ice? I'm good. Not to, not do it some other time because I'm too. I don't want to mess this up. But this just tastes extremely yeah, great dude. at room temperature. Oh my god! And it smell. It's starting to smell fantastic. Oh As it sits in the glass, it's good, man. I mean, I like it. I I, I guess I like something that's complex. Do you like it a lot. I like it a lot. You know, I say it's a seven point five eight. That means I like it a lot. You know what I mean? If I just liked it, it'd be a five. <laughs> you know, so uh, if you're above a five, you, you, I could drink you. You get in the six, it's like woo hoo. Seven, like oh my gosh, orgasmic. Eight, it's like oh, oh, oh. I'll put a ring on you, baby. I'll put a ring on you. Oh man, I will put a ring on you. Get to that eight range. It ain't too much better than that. You know, unless your, your attitude is bad, but the taste, <laughs> the nose is good. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you get good head. It's all, oh, yeah. it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good going down the throat. Uh, oh, you, you deserve the ring, baby. Wow, turkey. All right, man. Cheers, people. We have to have a lot of fun. Yeah, turn it in. Yeah, go ahead and. Go, 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 go. I'm about to drink it.